a new game. No. Can't take it too easy. Stephen King once wrote that Ooh. nightmares exist oh, outside shit, you're of right. logic, and there's little fun to be had in explanations. They're antithetical to the poetry of fear. In a horror story, the victim keeps asking why, but there can be no explanation, and there shouldn't be one. The unanswered mystery is what stays with us the longest, and it's what we'll remember in the end. Hello there, you. Hope My you're doing Alan well. Lake. I'm a writer. Dramatic music. I've always had a vivid imagination, but this dream unsettled me. It was wild and dark and weird, even by my standards. So yes, it began with a dream. Guess like that. Soon. Gotcha, gotcha. I'm doing well. I was late, desperately trying to reach my destination, a lighthouse. For some urgent reason, I couldn't remember. I've been driving too fast down a coastal road to get there. Oh shit. I'd seen the hitchhiker too late. He was dead. I was convinced they'd put me in jail and I would never see Alice again. Suddenly, his body was gone. Spooky. Episode one. I was in shock from the crash. I could hardly stand my feet. Oh, but you're standing, boy -o. Oh. Oh. <gasps> reverse your controls. So look. Why would I want to reverse that? Nah. Thank you. This is fine. Whoa. Ooh, he prancing. Okay. Ooh, ooh, shit. He's kicking it. I had to go to the lighthouse. I knew there was something important waiting for me there. Okay. Well, it's a good thing the bridge is blocked off. 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 Pardon? My car. You don't even recognize me, do you, Ryder? You think you're God? Oh. You think you can just make up stuff? Um. Play with people's lives and kill them when you think you add to the drama? Can I hop down here? Or will I die? Pardon? Oh, I can jump? Oh my god, I don't know why I didn't think I couldn't. Freaking jump! You missed your deadline! I... <laughs> Did I? L1... In that but, oh, okay, so I need to try to dodge and attack. Okay, come at me, bro. Ooh, cinematic moments. I love that shit. I realized that the hitchhiker was a character from the story I'd been working on. Well, that's no good, buddy. How does it feel to die by the hands of your own flesh? Ooh, probably not too good. This wind is like crazy. This way, this way. Oh, I hate this fucking bridge. Holy Hurry. shit. I guess I'm not sleep well. <laughs> Rest in peace. <laughs> Woo. Sure. 
bam. Oh, what? Oh no! Oh, this guy's fucked. Stop! No! Damn it, die! No! 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 <laughs> No, thank you. Wait, how do I? That <laughs> not me jumping, bro. Why? You got me, man. Okay. That shit's the loudest part. Get. Huh? Well, you know what, buddy? How do I get out, bro? Am I like missing something very, very obvious? Oh shit. Okay. Follow the light. Oh. Sure. Oh, I can't do that. Okay. Checkpoint reach. But you should go into the light. You are only safe there. Okay. Go into safe haven. Oh, gotcha. Oh, that heals you. That's crazy. Okay, I got you. I got you. Thank you. I have something important to tell you. It goes like this, for he did not know that beyond the lake he called home lies a deeper, darker ocean green, right, jump, jump. where waves are both wilder and okay. more serene. To idea. its ports I beam. To its ports I beam. Do you understand? No. Follow my light. Okay, I got you fam. I'll follow your light. Oh, get fucked. You did it. Now the darkness no longer protects him, but it's still inside, controlling him. He can't be saved. He's still a threat. He is still your enemy. Here, take the gun. But <laughs> Jesus Christ! I don't have to worry about anything, oh, thank you. I don't think at least. Good. You've done well. Remember what I've taught you. Oh that is all. I will give you back your dream now. Thanks, God. In the nightmare, a terrible darkness was taking over the world. The lighthouse was the last safe place on Earth. Oh hell yeah, now the gate's open. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Okay. See ya. This is it, witch. Okay. Open that shit. Flare gunning. Oh my goodness. What am I if I do?
whole bunch of fun. Okay. Oh wait, yeah, we're going this way. Yeah, no worries, Ryu. I appreciate you hopping in. Hope you have a good night. That's not good. He's here. Alan, wake up. <gasps> Shh, baby. Just another nightmare. Everything's fine. You dozed off. Right. Anything more than dozed off would be news for everyone. Ooh. Cheer up, handsome. We're here. Go stand next to that old gentleman there. I want a shot of you with the town in the background. <laughs> sure. I'll even give you a title for the shot. A city boy. Moments before he got eaten by a bear. Oh. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Hello there. You picked a good time to visit our town. Deer Fest is just two weeks away. Deer Fest, huh? Did you hear that, honey? <laughs> you have a lovely wife. If you don't mind me saying I'm Pat Bain, by the way. Nice to meet you. Yeah, I'm Alan Wake. I won't pretend I don't recognize a famous writer such as yourself, Mr. Wake. A pleasure. I'm an avid reader myself. I hope this isn't too presumptuous of me, but I'm the night host of the local radio station. Any chance I can get an interview? Look, Mr. Main, I'm on vacation. In fact, I'd appreciate it if we could keep my being here just between the two of us. Mm -hmm. I'm sure you understand. Fair enough. Hey, it looks like a small town, at least. Not a hard man to track down if you change your mind, though. I hope you do have a lovely holiday. Holiday. Very nice. I got a couple of really good ones. Did you there? See, you made a friend. <laughs> That's cute. Right. Yeah. Hey, Ben Schiller. How's my favorite writer? Are you there yet? Very. Yeah. We just got here. Are the locals giving you trouble? Just say the word and I'll hop on a plane and come make sure that you're left alone, Al. No, Barry, we're fine. Great. Great. Just want to make sure you can relax and recharge. So, how is the place? Has it gotten your creative juices flowing? Barry, we're just settling in. Okay, Al. I'll come yeah, back later to make sure you're doing being so okay. pushy, dude. And call me if there's a problem. Oh. Okay? 
later. I love you too, Mary. You know he's going to be calling you every five minutes. Barry is Barry. I can always turn off the phone. What did I tell you? Text message from Barry. He says hi to you too. Lovely. Alan, we're here. Come on, let's get back to the car. All right. Um, uh, which assume the position. We need to stop at the local oh, diner. Oh, never mind. She was driving. I had. I, that's why I was Ducky. second guessing myself. I didn't know. I couldn't think about who was driving. I'll go fill her up while you get the key. I'll pick you up here in say 15 minutes. Sure. Should have assumed. Alan, thank you for coming here with me. I love you too. Go on. I'll promise to behave. I'd forgotten there were still places like this. Towns where everybody knew everybody. Welcome to the Oh Dear Diner. I, I was wondering if you could help me. I'm looking for... Mr. Wake. Alan, wake. Oh, God. I am your biggest fan. I know people say that all the time, but I really am. I'm glad to hear that. Rose. Rose. I'm looking for Mr. Stuckey. Carl Stuckey. Carl? Of course, Mr. Wake. He must have gone to visit the restroom. He'll be back in a moment. I can't believe it. I've got all of your books. Oh, ma'am. I got the cutout from the bookstore when they took it out of the window. And you keep it here. Well, okay. Good for you. And you keep it here. Yeah. Do me a favor, Sonny. I could really use a tune right now. Coconut number six in the jukebox. I'd do it myself, but both of my legs have gone to sleep. Bad circulation. Yeah. Are you serious? Coconut again? You disgust me. Call yourself a rocker. Unbelievable. Ah. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Alright there, dude. Don't uh, go in there, young man. You can hurt yourself in the dark. I think I can handle it, ma'am. I didn't want to wait. I wanted to find Stucky, to get the key and get out as soon as possible. The waitress was giving me a headache. Overeager fans always did. Understandable. Hello? Mr. Stucky? Carl couldn't make it. Unfortunately, he was taken ill. But I have the key for you and instructions on how to get to the lake. Okay. I wish you a good Suspicious. stay in my cabin. I'll come by later to check how you've settled in. And to meet your wife. I insist. Thanks. Not creepy at all. All right. Back Cauldron over. Lake is a special place. Very inspiring. Mm. You got lucky this time, young man. You can hurt yourself in the dark. This will be your first, and then I must pay for my Even that sounds better than your singing. Are you all right? <laughs> He's the Andersons. They're uh, local musicians. We're waiting for Dr. Hartman to come pick them up. They wandered off from his clinic at the Cauldron Lake Lodge. Cool. Bye, Mr. Wayne. Don't, don't ask me to do something about that. Mission accomplished. The key and the directions. My hero. I got some flashlights, just in case. Hey, wait! Mrs. Wake! Your... Your keys! That diner was a real nut house. <laughs> Jesus. Can you believe this place? This would make a wonderful setting for a book. We're supposed to be on vacation, Alice. I'll figure it out when we get back home. Okay? Okay. We can talk about this later. Padman here on PBF I didn't want to talk about it. I wanted to bury my head in sand. 
there's another one of my favorites to go with it. Once upon a time, I was a successful writer, but that was a long time ago. I hadn't been able to write a word in two years, not since my last book. Okay. That house isn't awful looking. Beggar's Isle. Wow. It's gorgeous, Alan. It's something, all right. Don't worry, honey. I'll get you inside safe and sound before it gets dark. And I've got the flashlight. Alice had a phobia. The fear of darkness. I wanted to make sure we were inside with the lights on before sunset. That's sweet. Where is she? Betcha. Oh my god. Flashlights are always so shitty. Hello? Anyone here? A shoebox filled with books by Thomas Zane sat on the shelf. I'd never heard of him before. Okay. Good information there, Alan. Feel of this, the is a, this is a cute little window. Returned. Oh. Damn. I know, I know. I needed to get the power running in the cabin. There had to be a fuse box or a generator somewhere on the island. The cabin looked like a time capsule from the 60s, or even earlier. Goes to that shed over there. Yeah, I'm going, honey. Don't you worry about it. An old generator had been connected to the power cable. Oop, messed up on that one. been the site for a love story oh I guess I wasn't supposed to <laughs> it was a beautiful <laughs> place oh well I told myself I could rest here sleep here and forget about my work I thought we could be happy here that again nothing ever Ever good happens for you, huh, buddy? <laughs> Trying to close it, but it's fine. Alice, honey. Alan, I'm upstairs. Oh, upstairs. That's nice. Wishing you a hello. Hello there, Shigizu. Hope you're doing well today. Well, hello there. I'm not the surprise. It's in the study. Go take a look. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm doing pretty well myself. Surprise! Alice, what is this? I guess I have a small confession to make. I thought maybe you could write here that a change of scenery would get you past- Damn, Alice, you- Everyone- Hey, keeps... hey, hey, just hear me out! There's a local doctor, Dr. Hartman. I read a book of his. He has a private clinic here. He specializes in helping artists. Maybe so now you want to get me committed? No, it's not like that. That's not... 
Alan? Alan? I don't, just don't. I don't want to hear it. God damn it, Alice. God damn it. I knew she wouldn't follow me in the dark. I needed some time Ooh. alone to think things through. Oh. Not that good reaction. Have a, a little I'll more concern, please. I'm fucking sorry. What the hell? You got me. Oh, just fall. Yep, you do that. That's a long fucking fall, dude. Keep going, Alice. Wake up. Alice? Uh. Waking up in the crashed car felt like I had woken from one nightmare and entered another. Yeah, you got me there, dude. I couldn't remember how I got there. All I knew was that something terrible had happened to Alice. The phone was dead. I'd have to find help on foot. Among Alice's things was a book, The Creator's Dilemma, by a Dr. Emil Hartman. Seeing the book brought back my fight with Alice. I didn't like it. And I didn't like the guy's smug face on the cover, either. <laughs> the gas station was my best bet. They'd have a phone I could use. It looked like a long hike through the forest to get there. Oh, uh, we'll, we'll get there not too Damn. long from now. Should be a fairly simple jog. I guess it is gonna be a little further. That's that's okay. Hello? Hello? Is someone there? The loose sheets of paper were pages from a manuscript entitled Departure. That was the name I planned to use for the next novel I had never gotten started. I was named the author. I hadn't written it. I couldn't remember writing it. In the scene on the page, the hero was attacked by an axe murderer in the woods at night. Okay. I didn't see anything. God dang it. I wasn't looking the right way. The lights up ahead were a good sign. Maybe I wouldn't have to hike all the way down to the gas station to find a phone. Oh, I have a feeling we still will. Good balance. Wow. Anybody there? Please. I've been in an accident. Is it? Is it? Possible? I can't climb like that. I guess. 
Hey! Oh, sure, that way. Hey, you! Bill! There's been an accident. I need help. Listen, Listen. I need to... Cabins for rent in... Nightfall! Oh, hell. <laughs> Carl Stucky. Pleased to meet you. No. Non-attendable reservation has required. Fair and square. <laughs> That's not too great. Um. I see how I can follow the map now. Gotcha. That's cool. That's so good. Um, that's a long fall. A, like a, a very long fall. Okay, let's just stop jumping. Jumping's not doing shit for us. Oh, okay. like Nicholson in The Shining. Indeed, indeed. During your... Phone. Trying? Yes, sir. It's a right ball sheriff station. How may I... Wow, you can really tell they love their job. Oh yeah, that's not great. He's fucking gone. Okay, thank you. just killed someone or something there were no bodies they just disappeared if i was dreaming it felt okay. real enough to make me sick yeah it probably isn't a great feeling <laughs> eerie hand-painted graffiti oh. was revealed by my flashlight someone had hidden a chest of supplies near it how useful play again kick this. Oh, well, that probably is important. 
The dark forest was the last place yeah. I wanted to go, but I had no choice. I had to get to oh, the yeah, gas station. It may not matter how I climb into this. There we go. Goofy ass people, dude. Manuscript page. Okay, I see. good I can assure you when I saw the river below something uncoiled itself inside my head I realized that I'd have to find a way across I didn't even want to look at the water well I'm looking at it right now it's too bad Stucky was still out there in the dark. Indeed, he is. Proceed at your own risk. Logging area. Ah, uh, yeah. That's very unsafe. Oh, I can... Why would... Why would I ever need to climb this? Oh, to get up here, I see. Taken. They're taken. The taken are filled with darkness. More fucking graffiti. Yeah, there's just, that wouldn't count or anything. The 
The staircase was broken. I had to make my way up some other way. Do you though? Jump, buddy. Ow. I didn't mean to be on the flare, but shit, that sh that that's amazing right there. God damn. Hard hat area. Good thing I can't wear one. With all this forestry equipment around, there had to be something I could use to reach the top. Mm-hmm. You'd think so, wouldn't you? So I need to go back there to flip that. I don't think I'll need to come back here, so I'll go in here first. Shotgun, hell yeah. Oh, okay, I see what I'm supposed to do. Okay, we're good, we're good. Pardon? <laughs> well, I was just outside for a breath of fresh air, and what a night. I, I know most of you are probably in your beds by now, but if you're still up and around, take a moment. Step outside for a spell and breathe in deep. The weather is absolutely still. The sky is crystal clear. It's like the forest is quietly breathing along with you. Do you listen to know I'm, I'm a night owl, and it's on nights like this I wish I wasn't cooped up in the studio. It makes an old man like me wish I could just roam wild. <laughs> but here I am, and it would keep you company all night long if I weren't. Uh, I'm good, buddy. Uh, looks like, uh, I'm not the only one staying up late. Call her. The gas station was closer now. It's light welcoming in the darkness. Paul makes the best dogs <laughs> in the state. Barry Furster is the best with no curls. Furster dog is second best. The famous dog is... Is 
guns. Fuck you. Oh, my safe haven. Item limit reached. So much freaking items. So much freaking items. Oh my god. So much ammo. Holy shit. I'm a genius. Safe haven up here. That'll do it. I just have too much in general, huh? Not that. Where... Where can I check my... Hmm. Might be fine. script oh. okay. hopefully that was the correct thing to do Good buddy.
Oh, fuck. Brett, can you die? The answer is yes. Stucky's body vanished, leaving behind only a lifetime of nightmares to come. Assuming I'd reach the lights at the gas station alive. <laughs> Almost there, buddy pal. Almost there. I recognized the parade float I had seen in Bright Falls when I first arrived with Alice. After the insanity I had just experienced in the darkness, the lights of the gas station felt comforting. At least for a moment, the sane world reasserted itself. It's not gonna be for long the though. Was I can a feel mess. it. It looked like someone had trashed the place, or that there'd been some kind of fight. All right, I'll keep writing. Outside, there's only darkness. Outside the cabin, outside the story, there's only darkness. I can feel her presence in the dark. Just now, I could smell her perfume in the room. I'll reach her, I'll fix it up. I'll bring her back. The story will come true. If I stop, she's lost. I don't believe this. It'd been me on the TV, talking crazy. Was I losing my mind? Talking crazy. Oh, buddy. Right ball, Sheriff Station. Okay, that was a pretty good idea, honestly. <laughs> Call someone. Oh, thank God, Sheriff. Sheriff Sarah Breaker, you are... I'm Alan Wake, but listen, I was in a car crash. My wife, Alice, she's missing. Calm down, Mr. Wake. We were staying in a cabin on the island, on Cauldron Lake. There's no island on Cauldron Lake, not since the big eruption in the 70s. Please, I can take you there, okay? You look like you've taken a pretty bad knock to the head. Are you okay? Listen. We'll figure this out. Please get in the car. We'll swing by the lake and then we'll go to the station. Okay? Mr. Wake, have you seen Stucky, the guy who owns this place? I realized I couldn't tell her what had happened in the forest. She wouldn't have believed me. And then she wouldn't have helped me with Alice. I mean, yeah. You would sound like an insane person. <laughs> Don't look really good. Yeah, absolutely nothing in there. Lovely.